First off tonight, the new year brings a new term for the Michigan Supreme Court. And with Chief Justice Bridget McCormick maintaining her seat and Elizabeth Welch becoming the newly elected justice in November, there's now a female majority on the bench. As the four female justices share today, the milestone is exciting, but not really a focus. We are um, delighted to welcome Elizabeth Welch as the 115th Justice of the Michigan Supreme Court. In a virtual ceremony December 29th, East Grand Rapids attorney Elizabeth Welch became the newest member of the Michigan Supreme Court. I was very lucky to be able to have my immediate household family there, and that was really special. Her election solidifies a female majority on the seven member bench for the fourth time since 1997. As the justices shared over Zoom, it's a milestone that hasn't really been top of mind for them, but certainly has been for others. But to be honest with you, I don't think I've focused that much on the, the, that specific fact. Um, we're really grateful uh, that Elizabeth Welch has joined us. But I can tell you that I've heard from a lot of, of younger women and young girls, um, because this is the first time that, that they've either been aware of it or that they've been around when it's happening, and it is very exciting for them. My two daughters think that it's really, really cool. That representation makes an impact as the new term begins. The court's workload includes administrative oversight of the state's trial courts, which hear between three and four million cases each year. So it's our job to make sure that, that those who are really the ones, you know, I say like the boots on the ground, the, the, the courts that are doing the real work for, for citizens every day, that they have the support that they need. That to me is really exciting about one, another person, be it male or female, who is committed to that administrative function of our court. The support, the access to um, services that can help them heal their family, um, I think all of us on this call, we're, we're passionate about that work, and we have the tremendous um, opportunity to, you know, support those, those trial judges in that work. Um, and that, you know, that, th th that means on our end, um, uh, a lot of effort that um, uh, maybe nobody ever sees, um, but, but maybe the most important part of the job. It's evident that devotion to the work remains as four women now sit on our state's highest court. Perhaps significance lies in another female majority not feeling like a big deal. That's a good moment in time to be where, uh, yes, it's great to have female colleagues and have shared interests and backgrounds with our families and our kids and all the different issues that come with being working women. But um, the fact that it's, you know, kind of not a big thing anymore, that's, that's great news. Well, it replaces Justice Stephen Markman, who retired. You can learn more about the court inside this story at our homepage right now, woodtv.com.